Music's greatest songs. Greatest songs. Worth covering. Original classic hit makers. Ah, you see, now I'm going to enjoy doing this because I've got these big build-ups like, uh, you know, classic, music great, and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to arrive with Vindaloo. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to talk about it because I am unabashedly scared and proud and excited about Wednesday night and the fact that my country, who everyone hates, <laughs> unanimously across the globe, <laughs> may actually be in the semi-finals. Oh, uh, it's just so wonderful. So I thought, right, listen, I can't play Three Lions. I can't do that. Why not? Too... No, no, no. I have it with me here. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you dare play that. Do not play it. You guys just see it. I've got the hand up. Yeah, we're not We're not playing that. But what we can do mm. is mess around with other football songs. Okay. And this is an absolute beaut. We're going back to 1998. Now, this was before Three Lions came out with Frank Skinner and Thingy Badil. Oh, They're okay. two comedians. I, I, know, I know that record well. You know that one you know, well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the <laughs> most that England we song. sing it all the sing time. Sing it all the time. It's over. Like, done. Amazing. Yeah. But so you guys funny. sing this one too. Right, this one was really, really... This was the one. This was the one we were all singing. And then Three Lions came along, and obviously Fat Les was booted off. But let me talk to you, talk to you about it, because actually it's got some, it's got some good kind of... Uh, got some good bones. It's got some good guys behind it. So Vindaloo is obviously a curry. You know, uh, that's what it is. But if you know uh, the UK, you'll know that our national dish is curry. Um, which is always quite extraordinary to me because I would have thought it was fish and chips, but no, it is in fact curry. Um, now, this particular song is a parody and a Mickey take of itself, but it was written for football. So the band was set up for this song called Fat Les. It's co-written by Alex James, who is the bassist from Blur. And the bait, yeah, 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 yeah. And Guy Pratt, who is also the word. bassist. Right, so the, yeah, word. That's so mad. these guys co wrote it and they got together with a comedian called Keith Allen. Now, Keith Allen wrote the lyrics. Lyrics not very complicated. The lyrics, has, which you will learn in the first 10 seconds, are basically na na na, na na na. <laughs> not even kidding. Na na na. Right, um, and then we shout, Vindaloo. <clears throat> what is Vindaloo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, basically. Now, Vindaloo is the food that um, yeah, football yeah. supporters typically eat when they're on a boys' night out and going to watch the football. They go and have a Vindaloo. Yeah. Okay, and it's all a bit London, in it? Okay, That's so... The English. <laughs> well, you've got all that of it, though. <laughs> go London. Go London. How do you do that? You need to widen your mouth. Sing, sing it along with me. Just give me I the first line. It doesn't... It's not even a song. It's more a chant. Like, you can hear the drums going... So we're marching. We're marching down the street and we've had our vindaloo. And, wow. then, and then we start shouting, England, at the end. <laughs> so you're going you're gonna to cry with laughter when you hear them. <laughs> so what you've got is this, that, that's, that's the phrase, na 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 and vindaloo, and that's kind of the chorus. Um, it has these brief verses in between, which are spoken slash sung, but not really, by the comedian Keith Allen. Um, and he kind of copies an old singer called Ian Drury. He's always done that. Keith Allen's always done that. Did I mention that Keith Allen is the father of Lily Allen, the singer? You know Lily Allen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's very London as well. They're both proper London. Like, Lily Allen, hi, I'm really nice. And she's like that. Um, and this is her dad. And um, a famous comedian, OK? But he's, he, to me, has... I hope Lily's not listening. He always has a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Mm. And he's always wanted to be a singer. Anyway, just saying. But he's a comedian. He's a comedian. And he did very, very, very well at that. Yeah. Dad has his own TV, TV show. Obviously, and it's not. Like that. It's not also like he. I don't think he takes. He's taking the. Is it? We can't say the Mickey out of. Or he's taking the Mickey out of himself in a way. Well, no, because he takes himself extremely seriously, okay. and he's got into hot water. And I'm about to tell you about that <laughs> in a moment. Um, but what happened was this song came out, and everyone uh, went, "Yeah!" And it was supposed to be a kind of a Mickey take on football songs, and then okay. it became its own song. That happens all the time, fam. Yeah. You know? Uh, that happened in, in a friend of mine he's an artist he's a comedian as well right. social media <laughs> but he has a big following okay, okay. Um, he <laughs> dropped the song very Arabic we're all about love very pop very Arabic very Saudi right it went crazy <laughs> radio started interviewing him and he was very serious like yeah I've been singing for a while right now and like, bro you don't <laughs> sing man it's like you're the only one that actually did the research us you know me all the radio stations start calling him TV start going and he has the serious face on he's like yeah 
Great. Yeah, this he is my song. He pranked all the TVs. No way. Yeah, everyone thought he's a great singer. And it wasn't him. He wasn't singing. No, no, he was singing. But it, he's not a singer. He's just making fun of oh, singers oh. in the Arab region. Wowzers. <laughs> Amazing. You see, I like all that stuff. I really do. Yeah. So here's where the controversy kicks in. And I'm going to have to tiptoe through the tulips. So the BBC, um, who do the official UK music chart, um, they said that the band were deliberately waking the ghost of a racial incident that happened on The Late Show. So The Late Show was a, a comedy fest, kind of, you know, it had comedians on, and Keith Allen is on there. Now, I've said to you before, he's very outspoken, he takes himself very seriously. He thinks he's all that and a bag of sugar. He comes across like, I know what I'm talking about. Um, and he got into this really heated row um, on this particular uh, late show. And um, he he said that the world has gone mad. Now, I'm going to get his quote right. He said that comedy was being hamstrung to appease political correctness, i.e. held to ransom through political correctness. Um, then he stormed off the live broadcast because it was in the days when it was live. Um, he also, though, he had a go at an Asian member of the panel called uh, Farouk Dondi and he said and he, and he accused Farouk Dondi of having a chip on his shoulder but his comment was it's not a chip you've got on your shoulder which means you know when you see I think Keith Allen's got a chip on his shoulder I'm just saying but anyway it's not a chip you've got on your shoulder it's a vindaloo which means he's got a whole meal on his shoulder so um, yeah horrible absolutely horrible anyway he then had to backtrack because he said to the press that he was just claiming that it was Vindaloo because it was a faux ethnic thing and he tried to explain his way out of what, to be honest, was the most awful statement and the right. most ho horrible display. Everything that I know of Keith Allen. Um, wow. And, uh, but, but I mean, uh, yeah, go ahead, sorry. Well, the, uh, the flip side is that others... Uh, so, And then he brought this song out called Vindaloo. And so the BBC went, you've got to be kidding. You had that incident on The Late Show and now you, where you accused, you know, an Asian gentleman of what you accused him of, and, and now you've got a song called Vindaloo. And then others turned around and they praised the song and said that it shows multiculturalism in England and that um, the, it's a Portuguese curry dish, by the way, Vindaloo, became a postmodern national football anthem, although most of the lyrics are fair, fairly nonsensical. In fact, the Guardian newspaper said it's irritating, mm. pretentious mm. and proletarian. Very, which means it's uh, exclusive and ridiculous. But, but, okay, you know what's interesting to me because as, as a, a, again, this is what's amazing about this show, I'm giving you the, the, the feedback from people outside England. Right, oh God, I'm braced for impact. No, 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 right, no. It, it, yeah, no, no. It, the stereotypical is that English fans are horrible. very passionate, not horrible, I would say, very passionate, Okay. extra passionate, and it, some of them, I don't know, they, they even have a name for, 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 for that. Like, yeah, you know, hooligans. That, and, yeah. and there is a certain way, but not everybody is like that. No. You can't generalize. But I think with when, when it comes to that, for me, I find it incredible that there's an anthem that you can play mm -hmm. with, with, with that. Now, I haven't heard this song before. I know the home record. Right. I know that one for sure. Don't I've, say I've, it. I've seen that. Leave no, that we're alone. not playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it alone. So, so, so why, what's the difference, I'm asking you, what, between the Vendaloo and the, the other record? Okay, the other one is a lovely, yeah. it's a bit more friendly anthem. Uh, it's just fun. This one, um, because of what Keith Allen did on The Late Show, mm. has a sort of an undercurrent um, to it. And it shouldn't have, because when you've got Blur involved uh, and you've got some guys behind it, yeah. it's actually Keith Allen's kind of checkered history that followed into the song. The song by itself is just a, a lot of nonsense and a lot of fun. And it is an anthem and everyone used to sing it in the when you listen, you'll hear the first verse and you'll be singing along by the end. It's catchy in a horribly irritating way. And they used mm. to sing it in the stands. Um, you know. See now now, now there's a fun. song but in America they sing it in the stands as well. I forgot about it. It's really also very popular. Ah, which Something one? similar to Coming Home. Um, ah. I'm going to try to dig that out because yeah. it's, it is equivalent to the American one, though. Right. They do that in baseball and they have seen it in movies. It's really, really cool. I love that record a it's, lot as well. Yeah, I mean, it's very passionate. It's very evocative. Yeah, and it's nice Super when the good. whole crowd knows it. Like, yeah. it is a, you know, everyone knows it and it is a, it's like, you know, everyone plays We Are The Champions by Queen. Yep. Like, that's the record everyone that's plays. But one. this one is nice. 
uh, yeah, I can't wait to hear the record. Like, that's amazing. Well, just so you know, the music video was very much yeah, like, I you had that. to see the music. It was mm-hmm. very funny. Yeah. Now, the music video is also a parody. Um, so, Bittersweet Se- Symphony by The Verve. Wow. The Verve did the most amazing video mm-hmm. to Bittersweet Symphony. And they had taken it and lifted it from Unfinished Sympathy from Massive Attack. Also, an amazing wow. tune. Both of which I'm sure I've pretty sure I've covered um, on the music greats. So, this is a parody of that because you have. Um, you have sort of Paul Kane look, look, looking like Richard Ashcroft walking along the street from the video. Gradually, everyone joins him. Uh, Matt Lucas is in there. David Williams is in there. These are amazing comedians. Um, Ricky Grover is in there. Um, I think Lily Allen's in it. Like everyone, and they all join and they all walk along the street singing Vindaloo and Na Na Na, and it's ridiculous. So that's what you get. If you take the song on isolation without the rubbish that comes with Keith Allen, it's a super song and super good fun. And this I feel safe to play because it's total, total nonsense. So if you're not from the UK, (laughs) brace to learn a new kind of song. And if you are, turn the volume up. Let's go. If you liked this episode of Yellow Home, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.